All right, guys, I am back and I kind of started a little bit on this stuff. Um, and the dogs are all going crazy because uh, they haven't heard mom talk since I got home tonight. So, yeah. Anyhow, I hope you guys, your week is going well. It is Tuesday night and I have tomorrow off. I mean, don't let that fool you. I still have a ton of stuff to accomplish tomorrow. However, um, I'm going to take tonight and just play. I'm doing much better than I was last night, which is when, like, I think you'll be seeing this video Friday. Um, so yeah, it was just kind of a bum day at work on Monday and Tuesday was a little better, but yeah, I just need to learn to just not stress out so darn much. So anyway, sorry, this is day nine. Um, and it's got the cute little Santa, uh, Santa's and a tree and that sort of thing. So we are going to just play um, with this one, obviously. Oops, you look. So yeah, um, the new washer and dryer get delivered tomorrow between one and five. So super excited about that and get my nails done in the morning. So probably next week's videos, you guys will end up seeing um, new nails. Woohoo! So yeah, sorry, the dogs just came in from being outside for a little while and they are like hyper. Um, so yeah, um, I let them out and, um, yeah, <laughs> we know how that goes. Anyways, yeah, um, it's been, it's been a week. Um, I don't know how else to say it, but other than it has been a week and I am glad it's when, or I guess technically Tuesday night here. Um, I woke up to, um, like four inches of snow, but six inches, sorry, not four, six. Um, and so there was only a 30% chance of rain when I went to bed. And I, like I said, I woke up with snow, <laughs> which I wasn't prepared for. Cause usually on snow days, I'll wake up early to make sure I'm like out the door. Um, so that if I have bad roads to travel, you know, that sort of thing. But luckily enough, the further east I went, the clearer the roads got. So there's that glorious thing for the day. And um, yeah, so that said, it wasn't a total waste of a day. I got some stuff done after, after my, what we call nine to five job, but I don't really work nine to five. It's more like, 5 a.m. to 3.15 or 3.30 and then um, I always manage to get myself stuck there for oop, for at least another half an hour, hour, I don't know, sometimes I've worked a double, you know. And yes, we have a cat doing his, his thing. Meowing of that is uh, Barry. Um, he is a very interesting cat. He... Um, We've had him since he was a kitten, and when mom talks, he yells. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether I'm talking on a video or if I'm talking just in like life. Yeah, he's he's definitely he's a um, Firepoint Siamese, and he definitely makes sure you know he's he's around. There is not a moment in that cat's life that you can ever forget that he exists, um, and he makes darn tootin' that you don't ever forget either. <laughs> so yeah, tonight is one of those nights where Bo's at work and Grace is um, at class and then she has a church thing afterwards. So yeah, it's kind of quiet in my house today, tonight, which, you know, I don't, I love my babies, but I definitely dig me some home time just to myself. Um, they're the light of my life, but I tell you, they're 19 and 22, and mom's kind of ready. Mom is ready. Whenever they say, Mom, I think I'm moving out, I'm going to be like, I'm going to miss you. Can I help you pack? Um, definitely. I know I say that. But, like, I've enjoyed every step of motherhood with those two. 
They're just really great, great humans. However, mom is ready for her own space. I'm kind of looking forward to being able to like walk around my house naked. I don't know that I would actually have the the nerve to do it, but I want there to be an opportunity for me to. <laughs> All the things we do, right? <laughs> oh, like, I don't know. Like, my ex was pretty, um, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, like, all that kind of stuff was like confidential between him and I. Like, it was a private affair. And I mean, it, it should be, right? However, even just like, even the threat of like cleaning the house. Um, like, you know, you, I, I've heard stories of women who vacuum in the nude <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but I'd sure like the opportunity to, you know, or have the option to do that, to try it out at least once. I don't know. I guess I should probably put a disclaimer in my, uh, description box, huh? Or up on the screen before you click into this video. And here I am <laughs> celebrating Christmas. <laughs> Oh, anyways. All right. So on this side is where I'm going to put my pretty little decorations and I'm going to do every other, um, like doily, like one, one up, one down. So I think I'm going to start in the middle because for some reason I kind of feel like I'm going to mess this up. So if I start out now, <laughs> then maybe I won't mess it up so much, huh? And I don't even remember how I had it. So yeah, this should be fun, huh? Um, and I don't remember if I asked you guys if you guys are all doing well. Um, I hope that you are. I hope that you're all nice and warm and snuggly wherever you are. Um, yeah, um, I think some of my stress level just went down today. Um, I've been waiting on, um, a lot of you know that I refinanced, um, the house, um, to get my ex's name off of it. If you've been kind of following along the last couple months, it all went through and there was, um, that's part of what kind of, I had a couple of rough weeks, um, a couple weeks ago and I shared a little bit about that, but, um, I just so incredibly proud of myself. Um, those that have been with me for a long time will know that I had been a stay-at-home mom um, pretty much since my son was born, and he's the one that's 22, and um, hadn't ever really been on my own, like, financially, and so um, it was very, very rewarding to be able to refinance and be approved without a problem and... Um, yeah, so, and then obviously I got my escrow check back from the old loan and I'm not going to lie, I was kind of a little stressed out because I knew it would come in his name and I was hoping he wouldn't throw up any, um, balk about it. I mean, like, I'm, yeah, you know, uh, those of you who have been through what I've been through too will completely understand the whole, um, is he going to throw a big... A big fit about having to like me not sharing that check which I didn't have to really because I mean like I said I had I had proof and it was in our divorce papers and you know that wasn't really his funds but you never know right you do kind of stress out I think about those kind of things at least I do and I can honestly say my trust in him is like gone so um you know just anything I, I'm still like I don't really care what he has to say I'm probably not going to believe it until I have like proof <laughs> um anyways and our divorce our divorce was pretty amicable as far as like we didn't fight over anything like I pretty much said from the onslaught onsla that if if it's an issue and it's something you want I don't care I'm not gonna fight you over it like nothing we have is worth me losing sleep over because everything we have other than my children are, are, it's replaceable. I'm just not going to fight you over it. 
Um, so coming at it from that stance, there wasn't much he could say. I mean, there was some non-negotiables like my, um, like my grandma's items and like, not that I have a whole lot of that, but yeah, like you don't get to do, have any of that, but, um, yeah, anyhow, and he, yeah, I mean, and you know what, honestly, we both had such different hobbies that we enjoy that it really wasn't an issue because like, I mean, what would I'm going to do with his golf clubs? You know what I mean? Like, um, so really, honestly, it was really easy to split stuff out. The only thing that got a little hairy is he took the only steak knives we had because his parents had given them to him. So that was the only thing that I was like, really, you're going to leave, you're going to leave the kids and I with no steak knives. Okay, whatever. Again, I'm not even going to fight you on it. Um, so yeah, that was about the only thing that I was like, the audacity, really. And he took the steak knife set that was in the camper. So like I said, the audacity. It was the audacity for me. <laughs> like, whatever. Um, but, you know, we're all... Kids and I are doing really, really well these days. Um, thriving. So, um... So that's good. And I think at the end of the day, if had, had I said something about the steak knives, like really said something, he probably would have given in too, um, to that. Like, I think <laughs> my dad said once, I probably shouldn't tell you what he said because <laughs> my dad can be a stinker. Um, he was quite the stinker when my parents got divorced. Um, and I think he, he, he now knows that he was, um, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, I probably shouldn't tell you that because I know that my mom watches, so kind of be disloyal to both of them if I said what, it, what he told me. Sorry, mom. <laughs> um. No, I mean, it was kind of funny and maybe she'll get a kick out of it now. I don't know. I'll just tell you because a lot of you will be curious. You'd be like private messaging me. What did he say? My dad told me at the onset of my divorce with my ex that, um, you pick one thing to fight about and that's all you care about. Like you don't care about anything else. And I guess that's true. I, I mean, like, like you make one thing of importance and then, you know, then everything else kind of goes away. And there wasn't, um, I don't really, I mean, I thought it was funny advice. Not that I really took it. Um, cause like I said, it was amicable. We didn't really fight about anything. Um, as far as like worldly possessions. Um, I think it kind of shocked him that I didn't, I didn't fight more for anything. I was just like, no, nothing, nothing we have is worth fighting over. Um, I just, I, I think I just didn't care. I think I want, by that time I wanted out more than I wanted to fight, honestly. Um, so gosh, what a dark thing to be talking about. I think the reason I'm talking about it now is because I had to have a conversation with him on the phone a little while ago. So that's probably why he's the topic of my brain um, at the moment. I mean, not that he takes up space a whole lot in my days anymore, but um, yeah, that's probably why. Anywho, um, I don't know what else to talk about at the moment. Um, yeah, we're just like decorating and having fun with this. I kind of wanted something to set that out. I don't know, kind of wanted to do my scrap thing too, but you know, as, as odd as that kind of looks together, I kind of like it. So let's just use it, right? So it's part of those, um, the challenge thing that we did. I 
I know I mentioned it the other day, but if you aren't a part of Tina, or, uh, not Tina, I'm sorry, Tracy Fox's Facebook group, you should probably go over there if you want some serious inspiration. Some of those ladies, holy wow, they have got it going on. Not even lying. Like they, the amount of creativity just blows my mind. And I guess too watching them, it's hard. It's really hard for me not to get a complex. I'm like, why am I? Why do I have a channel? These ladies are like, like top notch decorators, right? No, I have a channel mostly because um, it's my it's my outlet. This is my therapy, and I've met so many like wonderful people during this whole process. So. Love that. I don't know if I like this cold and beautiful with this one because I, I was thinking that there was two or three label things, but I'm not. Let me look at the misprints because I think this might, day nine might have been one that misprinted. And so I tried reprinting it and it turned out better the second time I printed it. But I honestly can't remember. And I was going to kind of take you through how you work with those kind of things before. And I didn't, I, like I said, I ended up, oh, it was day 10. Oh, well. This one must have printed out okay. Kind of like. I brought along this too, like just some scraps that I have. I thought I had, oh, there it is. I was thinking maybe we could cut this almost in half. And use it as kind of like a little spine. We could do that. But then it kind of overtakes the Christmas tree. I think I don't mind it. Kind of almost thinking I probably should have put that down beforehand, huh? Oh, well, we're putting it down now, though. I think the dogs were hungry. I've been at that food bowl for quite a while now. Can't quite figure out why Santa has a briefcase. <laughs> I puzzled over that the other night too. I couldn't decide whether it was because I was just so tired that I was noticing it or if it like really stuck out and bothered me. And I think it just kind of bothered me that Santa's got a suitcase. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. He's got a little briefcase there. Better not be leaving Mrs. Claus. That'll just kind of strengthen that, on, that little tag right up.
I did kind of offset that all just a tiny bit because I wanted it to come more onto this one then. And the other side, so. Oh, goodness, dog. That would be my dog that just um, so rudely belched. It looks up just a little too far. But we can close that and nip that off just a little bit. none of our edges snag, right? Looks like I got that one pretty good in there. thinking here. I was thinking I was going to ink that. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Hmm. What if we put the Mary and Bright like up at this one? And backed it with the other half of that. If I can find it. What did I do with the other half of that thing? Hmm. Probably see it, don't you? Well. Oh, there it is. I was like, well, I don't know what to do with it. I do kind of feel like it's missing something though. Or is it just me? I need some type of flare or something going on. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. All right. Now, what else do we want to do with this? Hmm. I'm kind of tired of bows. We still have the ninth here. Now, do we want to try to mount it onto something? Hmm. This little Tim Holtz clip. Let me do something cute and fuzzy or something with that. Hmm. Though I don't know what. I kind of like that clip there, but what can I what can I do here? Because we have stuff here we can decorate with. I don't know that I've actually ever decorated a Tim Holtz clip. 
<laughs> what else we got here? Hey guys, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. I already did something like that. Ah, leave them alone. Come. Hey. You two knock it off. You behave. Um, all right, guys. I'm gonna pause the video for just a second so that we're I'm not wasting um record time and I'm just going to kind of hunt and peck around and see what I have for closures. I think I need to go to my box that's beside me and just kind of dig in and kind of just see um, what I've got for closures and to put that ninth on there. So I'll be right back guys. All right guys I kind of hunted around and I found a couple of things that might work. So we're going to try this. Um, this was one of the little wood pieces I got from the Dollar Tree in that big pack you guys saw during the challenge. Um, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of ink around there, just darken it up a little. So it kind of blends a little bit more with our piece here. And then this is just a regular hair tie. Um, I think I got it at Walmart. Um, so we're going to try it, but I'm going to have to clip it. So we'll have to let it dry. And then we'll, um, I already kind of put it over the tag and it doesn't like warp it in. So, but this is, um, one of the hair ties that are for like thick hair. Um, most of you guys probably don't know this, but Gracie has ungodly amount of hair. Um, it's long. It's like down past her keister and it's thick, like her grandma from her dad's side. It's the kind of hair every girl wants unless she has it <laughs> um so yeah I mean Gracie likes her hair don't get me wrong but but she definitely the summer months definitely get to that girl um so yeah anywho we're going to just see what we get here um I've never tried to glue wood to a rubber band before so this is a new one for me on there. Hopefully I got it about right. I guess it would probably help if I'm looking at it right. Okay. This glue is definitely smushy. So I think that's a sign in the right direction. And then I was hoping to put one kind of here in the middle, but I don't know if my clip will actually reach that at it from the other direction so it's got some equaled out support maybe okay so I'm gonna leave that for a few minutes and um, let's see if we can decorate the inside of the pages with some of our uh, other pieces here oh and I just thought of another thing if that doesn't work maybe we can use one of those um, pieces there Do, um, one of my reflections thing and kind of go at it a little bit different. Um, and we might do that anyways for support. So kind of what I was thinking is maybe we could find, let's see, we need to keep this ninth handy because <laughs> how bad would that suck if we lost that in the last little, little bit there. I was just thinking maybe, um, maybe put in like some of these gals or maybe one of the poinsettia pieces on one of the edges. Maybe like right here. Yeah, let's put that one there. And then maybe we'll put some nail polish on it. Kind of 
gussy it up a little bit without going overboard. Oops, just pack it out of more glue than I needed, but. Apparently it's grooming hour because the dogs are grooming themselves. The cats are over in the other corner grooming themselves. Yeah. I have an interesting Motley crew, don't I? Okay, so let's see. I mean, I like him. I just don't want him right there. I don't really think there's a ton of like smaller stuff in here. I don't I know that there's a bigger piece, but I think I might have, oh, oh, I didn't need a bit. Maybe that one on that side. Because I can always print more. Right. Now let's put some of our nail polish on here. Sparkle some of these things up a little, which we could probably actually add some of that Wink of Stella. She's up to no good. Come on, Hazel. Get back in here. Imagine that. A fuzzy on my nail polish. <laughs> I have no idea how that would have happened. None whatsoever. Oh, and I just got really quiet. Sorry, guys. I think I just went into that mindless crafting thing I think we all get into occasionally. Yeah, I really like how that clear nail, that the dollar store clear nail polish, because it's not a high gloss, but it does put just a nice little finish on, on these. And I think the only one on this side I need to do is the little, the little oh Christmas tree. And I mean, for a dollar, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, I don't know, the dollar store is not really the dollar store anymore, but I'm assuming a lot of their nail polishes probably are, but. Let's 
So even that, I think at Walmart, it's like only a dollar, like thirty or something for this particular brand. It's not; they're not overly expensive. So, and I'm a big fan of crafting on a budget, especially these days. Shall we check to see what our closure looks like? It's actually stuck together. I mean, I could break out the, the big guns. Hey, it, oh, looks like it's not quite dry yet. However, should we try my little trick here too and see if that helps anything? Okay. Wish me luck, guys, that I don't destroy everything we just did. Because if I did, then I'm going to have to, like... Oh, my gosh, they're little buttons. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know if you guys, if I could even get it up close enough for you guys to see. But it's got little, two little holes in there to, like, replicate a button. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, so I'm going to spread my little thing here. I'm going to carefully... Work it down and hopefully get it on each side of that. Yeah, like that. Kind of bend it over the top of that a little bit. Hopefully without destroying my glue job. And I think once I get it on there, I'm going to just finish the top there. And then uh, we'll just put it together. We'll put all of it together. Um, do I have like little pliers handy? I don't think I do. I think I took them back and put them in the toolbox. Maybe. Okay, I like that. Now, what I'd like to do, I'll take my little ninth here, throw a little bit of ink around it, then I'm gonna glue it down, and then we'll put the nail polish on it while we put it on the tag, if that makes any sense. underneath that kind of like that okay and then we're gonna put it on the tag like so nope I don't know like I said then we'll let it let it dry really well twist all that up but it'll be okay oh my gosh I like that oh, how cute okay okay now nail polish where are you there we are Yeah, that kind of looks nice on there, too. Look how pretty touches that you can do, right? They don't have to be major. I've been looking at my glitter... Uh, stuff over here and I'm thinking we might just have to break out some glitter. All right guys, I am going to call this tag done and it is going to go over to the side to set for later, but that, and it seems to be staying 
pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to call that a win. All right, guys. Um, I will just see you for day 10. Um, bye guys.